This is the mayor's report for the city of Battle Creek, Michigan. This is the mayor of Battle Creek, Mark Banky. Good morning, Battle Creek. Happy Saturday and happy birthday to Terrace Todd. We have a special proclamation that we'll be reading at the end of the meeting. Terrace does so much for so many people and I wanna say hi to his wife, Karen. The next city commission meeting will be held on Tuesday, February 7th in the commission chambers at city hall. It starts at 7 p.m. There's two opportunities to participate in public comment at the beginning and the end of the meeting. We wanna thank um, everyone who has attended in the past and we encourage more people to come in the future. And if you can't make it down to City Hall, you can watch on Access Vision or your YouTube channel. The service reductions at transit are still in effect. As a reminder, Battle Creek Transit is currently operating Monday through Friday, 5.15 a.m. through 7 p.m. The service reduction is a result of staffing shortages. Battle Creek Transit is seeking to fill six vehicle operator positions, two mechanic positions, and one utility worker position. Applications are being reviewed daily and several offers are being made to candidates. Interviews and testing are scheduled weekly and Battle Creek Transit and City Hall staff are working together on a larger scale recruiting event. Candidates hired without commercial licenses will be required to undergo a several week training period to attain CDL and transit training. It is estimated at least three drivers are required to either complete training or return from leave in order to for a fixed route service to resume regular frequency. The order of priority for service restoration is fixed route service Monday through Friday, followed by Saturday services, followed by midnight services. We are anticipating that this service reduction to remain in effect and until at least mid-March, allowing enough time to onboard and train new staff. Emergency, emergency medical service and fire service survey. Cedar city leaders want to hear about neighbors' experiences with the Battle Creek Fire Department and the Life Care Ambulance and a new survey. The survey will inform the city's EMS fire police study. The survey will be open through Friday, January 27th. We started the study last summer with CPSM to help leaders understand if the current way those departments, organizations provide services to the community are the best ways. CPSM specializes in the study first responder services and their name does not imply they would recommend or the city would implement a public safety model. The survey specifically addresses neighbors' experiences with the perceptions of the Battle Creek Fire Department and Life Care Ambulance to inform police and fire and EMS par, uh, parts of the study. The police section is informed by other recent surveys that have been asked for by the community's experiences and perceptions. You can also find the survey mon monkey, sur excuse me, the survey linked for the city's website homepage, battlecreekmi.gov forward slash scroll to the city spotlight. If you'd like rather to take the survey by phone, which you can easily do, please call 966-3311. We appreciate everyone's help and input on these critical community services. Look for more inf information later this year as we receive P CPSM's report on Battle Creek, EMS, and fire and police services. On January 24th from 4 to 6 p.m., the police department will hold a community reception to honor Chief Jim Blocker's retirement and welcome interim Chief Shannon Bagley. Once again, that event for Chief Blocker and interim Chief Shannon Bagley will be January 24th from 4 to 6 p.m. at the police department. On January 26th from 11.30 to 1 p.m., the Battle Creek Area Chamber of Commerce will be hosting a Chamber's annual State of the Business Community Address. Presenters will address transportation challenges in our community, along with a new resource map for child care in the area. Presenters will also include the city's new interim police chief, Shannon Bagley, new fire chief, Beatty, and the mayor of Battle Creek will be there and I will talk about the new commission we'll be doing to create business-friendly climate in the new year, in addition to new policies and initiatives to look forward to in the new year. 
the 2023 State of the Community Address is scheduled for 9 a.m. Friday, January 27th. This virtual event will stream live on the city's YouTube channel. Leaders from Battle Creek, Calhoun County, Albion, Marshall, and Springfield will update the community about work with successes in 2022, as well as looking forward uh, ahead as to what to expect in 2023. You can submit your questions for leaders by locating the link at the city's spotlight section of the Battle Creek, City of Battle Creek homepage. Recycled right, just wanna remember, uh, remind you on a couple of things. First of all, if you haven't disposed of your Christmas tree, Republic will haul those um, Christmas trees away this week, uh, Friday will be the last day. And just a friendly reminder that there are no plastic bags or plastic film belong in the city recycling carts. You can take those items to your local store, including Myers, Kohl's, Lowe's, and Walmart. The recent Pan-African flag raising. This is an important week to celebrate and recognize that African-American neighbors in our community. It began with Martin Luther King Jr.'s day when we recognize his critical work and words around civil rights, work that he was not able to finish and that we all must help to continue today. The work continued with the National Day of Racial Healing, a time to share love in neighborly gestures in an equitable way in our community. It is an act of humanity to act this way every day and just not this time of the year. This is a good time to remind our neighbors of these two important human actions. On Wednesday, we joined the Southwest Michigan Urban League to raise the Pan-African flag for the coming month at City Hall. The City Commission approved this action, and it is another symbol of equity among all Battle Creek neighbors. I hope all neighbors see the flag, learn about its meaning, and take this as another reminder to treat your fellow neighbors as you wish to be treated with equity, respect, and kindness. Let us begin this year with these reminders and understand the strength of our community is in its diversity. I acknowledge and celebrate all our African-American community today. During Black History Month in February and throughout the year, let us use this as a symbol of the Pan-African flag to celebrate the diversity in our Battle Creek community today and every day. Ida McRae Day, last week I had the pleasure to meet Ida McRae and to present her for the special proclamation designating Wednesday, January 18th, as Ida McRae Day in the city of Battle Creek. And finally, we'd like to mention Terrace Todd, and um, this is a special birthday. He turns 40 uh, on Saturday. This evening, there's a special event for him, and Terrace Todd, a Battle Creek native, has spent his lifetime motivating others and serving his community from high school class president, sixth grade teacher, pastor and youth pastor, elected county official, college instructor, state of Michigan House of Representatives district director, Head Start director, Battle Creek Central Hall of Fame conductee, executive director of the White House initiatives on educational excellence for African-American students to engagement in coalition analysis. Terrace is a man of many hats. Terrace holds a bachelor's degree of science, science and education degree and a master's of education and educational leadership degree from Western Michigan University. His motivational speaking career began with a critical audience of 30 sixth grade students. Many of his past students have shared that Mr. Todd's motivational stories played a much larger role in their educational classroom education success than a history book or a classroom notes. Terrace now touches the lives of many speaking on politics, education, and gospel. Terrace Todd has served on several state and national board of directors over the years, including the Michigan chapter for, of the Frederick Douglass Foundation, Norfolk State University Foundation Board of Directors, and vice chair of the Michigan Republican Party. Terrace Todd is passionate about fatherhood. One of his first initiatives while in federal office was hosting a virtual roundtable titled Fatherhood as an Essential to Student Success, which was viewed by educators and fathers across the country. He is the author of Father, Where Weren't You? and Just Being There, A Parent's Guide to Raising Children. When asked about his mission in life, he said, my, my passion in life is changing years forever. Terrace and his be beautiful wife, Karen, are the proud parents of three daughters. 
This certificate is presented to Mr. Terrace Todd in honor of his dedication and to his encouraging and inspiring of others for making the world a better place. I want to say congratulations, Terrace and Karen Todd, on a special birthday being celebrated on Saturday. This is the Mayor of Battle Creek, Mark Banky. Thank you very much for listening and please have a great weekend.